My name is Brother JD. I started L. Ray's Garage in my own backyard years ago. I knew it then, and I know it now. There are thousands of people that build awesome rides right from their own homes. That true artistic innovation takes place in the backyards of our great nation. Time to give real builders a chance to show off what they put their heart and soul into. And at the same time, give a little bit back to charity. A celebration of the Blue Collar Nation. A show for the people, by the people. Welcome to Wrench Wars. Judges, are you ready? Green girl, are you ready? Welcome to Wrench Wars! Let's open the game! My name is Jonathan Theodore from Culver City, California. Grew up in a shop. Both my mom and my dad are mechanics. First time my dad let me use a cutting torch, I cut a Camaro in half. I think I was 12 years old. For a while, my dad and I were building cars out of the garage. Dad retired and I got the house and I had the shop to myself and I just kind of continued building cars. Doing personal projects now, I don't do it for a living anymore. My day job, I'm a firefighter with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. I've got a family that I love hanging out with, so I, I just work on personal stuff. I really enjoy mostly fabrication end of it. Building suspension, building engines, making horsepower, making a car handle and perform. You guys have probably seen the car already. I don't have the patience for body work. I've seen the, the competitor's car a little bit. Did a little sleuthing on Facebook. I was smoking. My name is Kyle. I'm from West LA. Been working on cars ever since I could change the oil in my car at home with my dad. Pops worked at a gas station when he first got here from southeastern Missouri. Had to start changing oil as soon as I can remember. No crazy memories with Dad because he always did it by the book. And I do it my way, and it's usually wrong. But I'll get it about the third time. Right now I'm building cars in my front driveway because there's no room in the backyard because there's three cars in the backyard right now. I love to work on the performance of the cars, anything mechanical. Not so much a body guy. I have friends that like to do that. I will sand it down, I'll block it, I'll prime it, but I've never painted the car. Wrench Wars, where is this guy? Game on. Hey, welcome to Wrench Wars, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Grab seat, grab seat. Tonight, in the blue corner, we got Mr. Johnny Sidewall Theodore the 65 Skylar. And in the red corner on the right, we got Mr. Kyle Two Bow Tippet in a 72 That's right. All right. As you guys know, it's all for charity. Let me tell you. So you guys are playing for so. Let me get this right. The charity that I'm playing for is Widows and Orphans Fund. It's an organization that, that helps out widows and orphans of fallen firefighters and uh, police. That's my passion, helping out my guys and you know, taking care of that. Yeah, I was asked what charity I'd like to give my winnings to if I win the competition tonight. And I chose Wounded Warriors because I think those guys are badass and they need as much help as they can get. Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by our good friends at Roof King, Southern California's go-to roofing company. Looks like we got a West Los Angeles showdown. Two GM small blocks are going to have to slug it out. We're going to find out who hit that gym because classic muscle is coming to the cage. The rules of Wrench Wars are simple. In rounds one and two, just persuade the judges that the work you did on your ride is better than that of your opponent. Round three is a head-to-head -head competition that challenges those garage skills. This round is worth as much as one and two put together. Good luck, contenders. Let's meet tonight's judges from San Gabriel Valley. See, this girl right here, if you've ever checked out her Instagram, she's been doing body work for I don't know how long. 14 years. A bunch of time. She's the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonia Cerventi right here. In the middle, the dude's been building for a while. Bikes, cars, trucks, all kinds of buckets. He knows what backyards building is all about. Moonshine Mark, everybody. Now, to give us some respect, Okay, because we're some rough characters. On the end, the dude's a racer. He's got motors in his house. He's got cars taken apart out of his house. Let's get a hand real quick. Bob Alderman, everybody. Yeah. All right. My name is Bob Alderman. I 
I've raced my whole life. I've raced sprint cars, I've raced go-karts, I've raced off-road cars, I've raced motorcycles, I've raced anything fast, anything with wheels. I look at a car a little bit differently. I look at the offset of the wheels, I look at the size of the wheels, I look at the motor, I look at how the chassis is, I look at how they've engineered and put all that together because it's all about engineering. To build something that's going to be performance and it's going to work right, you have to have the proper plan. Judges are watching, bring your A-game. Coming up after the break, the contenders throw down in round one of Wrench Wars. The cool thing about Wrench Wars is it's all for charity. So when I call up my buddies, I say, hey, we're playing for charity. Can you donate a few prizes? What can you do? So the good folks at Auto Anything say, hey, we got something for you. Bring girl joy to the world. Bring out that prize package for round one. What do we have here? Light bar, advance your off-road lighting with Pro-Z Double Row C-R-E-E -E LED light bars. They produce up to 20,000 lumens, drawing 300 watts of power. Pro-Z Double Row light bars are available in several lengthy sizes. Lengthy sizes. Designed to light your way for up to 50,000 hours. Produces natural bright white light with a color temp of 6,500K. Innovative design, most of the combo of flood spot options. Housed in a tough aluminum casing for added durability, your Pro-Z double row LED light bars are backed by a one-year limited warranty. Right there it is, ladies and gentlemen, from Auto Anything. Woo! Yeah! This is the way it works. Each contender is going to have exactly one minute to tell us all he did on the exterior of that car. Johnny's sidewall, you can walk around, you can point, you can say, I did this, I did that. The judges, come on over here because you're going to take the journey with them. He's going to talk to you. He's going to talk to the crowd. He's going to talk to us. He's got one minute to tell us why you should take home that light bar. You ready? All right. All right. Crowd, are you ready? Yeah! Round one. Honor Bell, hit it, Joy. First of all, we got 65 Skylark, Buick Skylark. Got 50 years of character on this thing, so I wasn't about to cover up everything. A little black on the hood, candy orange stripe. We got center lines, 17 by nines in the front. 17 by 12s in the back, mini tubs, all lug, ARP studs all the way around. Black patch in the back, bumpers are blacked out, original black plates. Took all the Buick emblems, shaved them off, no trim, no molding. Just keep it slick, keep it sleek, blacked out grill, brand new headlights. We got real slim motorcycle blinkers down in there, so it's not real gaudy. Um, that red pinstripe on the tire, or on the wheels, just like the old uh, red stripe tires from Firestone. Uh, we got it dropped about two inches. Uh, no moldings. Five seconds. That's all I got. Three, I think that's all I got. Uh, uh, time! All right, good round. Good round, good round, good round, good round. Kyle, two vote tip. Are you ready, sir? I think I'm ready. <laughs> Crowd's ready. Judges, are you ready? All right. Joy to the world on your bill. Listen. Go, Kyle. Okay, what we got here is your basic 1972 Chevy Malibu 350. I took these off and this off, and I took it to my friend's sandblaster shop. I sandblasted them, I powder coated them. That's why they look like the nicest things on this car right now. Uh. Um, yeah, I got 15 by sevens in front, and I got the eights in the rear. Um, you may think this is rust back here, but I blew it out with a torch, made it look like rust. I'm saving weight. Oh! oh um, over here, I had a big dollar bill sized hole, you know, cause Chevy's rust down here. All the water comes down here. Anyone has a Chevy knows it. And uh, about a dollar bill size here. You know what? I got the old surfboard repair stuff out. Got the resin, got the cloth out, hit it. Holding tight, holding good right Three. now. Put a little prime on it. I'm still good to go, but that's lighter than that. Time! <laughs> Two vote tipping. He's tipping light. All right, all right, all right, all right. Head back to the table, judges. Come on over to the table. Contenders, stand next to your cars. Great work, great work. Now, judges, you can ask these guys any questions you want. Get a little more info out about the style, the look, the why'd you choose this? How come you didn't do that? Go. Sidewall, we got a question for Bob. Sir, purpose built for what? Purpose built for performance spirited driving through the canyons. How long have you had it for? I've had it for four years. How long have you had yours? Since 98. How much were the What's wheels the and tire package? 
Craigslist. Craigslist, 500 bucks. Oh, okay. good. I, I, I was guessing the body was about that much too, right? What size are the tires on no. there? 315s the in the back and 275s in the front. Rated? Uh, Z rated, dittos. 180? Yes, sir. There you go. Okay, did you do all the body work on that? Yes, ma'am. You did. You've had your car for a long time. How come you haven't started any body work on this? Really? Other than the, the torching out the, the weight in the back. Hey, you, other than no budget, whenever some other issues come up, like breaking my rear end or something like that, the money usually goes into that. Your jacket goes looks to like body. it would cost about a good pack of sanding paper and a weekend's worth of work. Sidewall. In the end, what do you want? What do you want your car to look like? Uh, refrigerator white, daily driver. Meant to go around some turns real good though. Interior, same as stock. Okay. You're it. going for the 70s theme on this, but what about the 80s? I, mean, I heard you. He's talking 70s. I heard you. Dude, disco's dead, dude. Crank the lead, oh. homie. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, we got a big round here. This is going to be tight. Are you ready? We'll be right back after this. Crowd, are you ready? Contenders, are you ready? We're ready. ready. Let's see who's going to take home the light bar. Don't forget, judges, blue corner right there on the Skylark, red corner right here on the Showbell, Malibu Showbell. Judges, hold up your scorecards. What do you got? Blue go. from Bob, red okay. from the moonshine, and from Sonia, what do you got? Blue! Yeah. Oh, blue! Yeah. Blue takes home the light bar. My car looked better, I presented it better. We put up a good fight. Yeah! Woo! I'm gonna come back super duper strong in round two. Yes, yeah. right, right! All right, hey, y'all ready for round two? Y'all ready for round two? All right, round two is everything you cannot see in the car, everything you don't see when you're rolling down the road. Engine, tranny, rear end, this is your time to shine, boys. Judges ready? I say, round two, let's pop them hoods. Hoods up, boys. Oh, yeah, that's right. to the world, bring out that prize package round two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is also from our good friends at Auto Anything. What this is, is a Pro-Z multi-purpose portable power source. Minimize your equipment stash with a Pro-Z multi-purpose portable power source, multi-function power source with an integrated 80 lumen LED spotlight driven by a self-contained 12 volt rechargeable lead acid battery. 200 watt power inverter with a 110 volt AC outlet and five volt USB port. USB port, come on. Don't forget, 260 PSI air compressor with a 100 PSI pressure gauge. Your Pro-Z multi-purpose portable power source carries a one year warranty. Come on, Pro-Z auto editing. Sidewall, you went first last time? Guess what? Coming out of the red corner, two ball tipping. All right, crowd, are you ready? Yeah. Round two. All right. Yeah. On her bell, on her bell, you got one minute. Here we go, round two. What you got here is your standard Chevy small block 350 with two bolt mains. Put the short block together in old man Bob's garage out in the valley. Uh. Put the rest of it together at my pad in the West LA area. Got some AFR heads on there. Got a new radiator on there because the recycler guy stole mine for the brass. What? Yep, left it in the alley by accident for a few minutes. That happens. Um, don't have a battery bracket over there because I ain't going for an HRA inspection. Neither do I have the reservoir. Yeah, I I love that. Transmission blew up, built it in the driveway. Wife wasn't too pleased, but it only took a couple of days, built right? Built the driveway. When the transmission was built, I broke my rear end. Standard 10 bolt out of an El Camino. It's older than this car. It's from a 67. Oh. Now it's got a spool 411. All right, there you go. All right. Whoa, very good. Boys and girls, Johnny Sidewall, you got some wild looking stuff under there, buddy. Are you ready in the crowd? Here we go. On your bell, Ringo, hit it. 
What we got here is a spaceship motor. Wrong light. We got a 5.3 out of a 2005 Chevy truck LS motor. Mm. Homemade linkage, homemade upper hoses, homemade brackets for all the accessories. Homemade nice. headers, homemade, homemade intake. Uh, got your coolers up there in the front. Homemade uh, brake lines. Who's home? Mine. Backyard boogie. <laughs> Uh, working on back, fully modified suspension, front lower control arms are moved forward for better caster. We got a four point roll cage. My latest modification, I got a light. We got a shifter, mini tubs, 13 inch rotors out front, 10 bolt rear end, just like my competitor here, so we're even with even. Uh, mini tub, Coney's all the way around. I built the rear suspension from scratch. Nice. Uh, four link. We got the, the radiator bracket, intake Three, bracket. That's all I got. Five. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was round two. Let's hear it for the contenders. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Judges, back to your desk. You know how it works. Ask the gentleman anything you want. Go for it. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Why would you prefer the LS motor, aside from like performance versus just going stock, keeping it original like Buick. My heart is right there with the, the standard small block Chevy. I built this car to be my daily driver, get the best mileage possible, road trip it with my family. And I, I put a car seat in the back and we run this thing to Vegas. What tranny's in that car? Original 350. Where did you steal that sign from? Oh yeah, I, was, I, was like, I got a bunch of these in the backyard. Got the other half of that sign under the battery here. Oh. You know, nice. it's, it's holding up. It's That's holding right. up. It's yeah. in there. Right? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Big cojones on this guy. 150 shot nitros, two bolt main. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping old dudes up at night, man. Uh -huh. That's, all. That's my name of my game, bro. Now, <laughs> honestly, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Easy, cock to the wall. How many times have you used the nitro? Oh, you haven't hit it yet. Okay. Would you consider this like a daily driver, like the way he does? Actually, I drove this thing to work today. I usually do, but it's over at Venice and Hauser, and I got to park on the street. I get nervous, but you know what I do? I got my club. Nice. Yeah. And I got the master key right here. Come on. That's what dad taught me right there. That's dad. Dad. Yeah. Coming up, who's going to take that round two? Will it be the red corner or will it be the blue? Judges, let's go to the scorecards. Let's get this round done. Round two, let's hear it for the contenders. Woo! All right, all right. Over here, we got the blue corner. Over here, we have the red corner. Judges, what do you got? Red, blue, what do you got? Who takes this round? Blue, blue and red. Oh. Oh. That's some auto anything right there. Enjoy, man. Thank you, auto anything. All right, there you go. We went head to head on our mechanical build, stuff that we can't see. I felt pretty confident, but he started rattling off some stuff that intimidated me a little bit, but I got it. I just don't think the judges understand my art. It's getting a little concerning. There's only one round left. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the competition round. Round three is worth as much as rounds one and two put together. Round three could even up the match right now. You want to find out what we're playing for? Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out. yeah. yeah. George, yeah. bring out that prize bring package. Here comes George to the world with the prize package. Here she comes. What do we got, sister? Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Cash money. Actually, this is a gift from our good friends at Auto Anything, okay? Thank you. This is going to challenge you, boys. Check this out. This mechanism right here, you got to take this apart. This piece comes off. This piece comes off. This piece comes off. Now, check it out. Guess what's in this contraption? The wiring to connect this here. I got an ignition switch, a headlight switch, and a high beam, low beam switch. The first guy that gets his wiring is going to win round three. Well, how are you going to get this thing apart? I got two toolboxes back there. You're only allowed to get one tool at a time. So if you go over there and get oh, the wrong tool, you got to go back oh, to the box. The box stays there. The box stays there. <laughs> oh, why are you <laughs> throwing a monkey in the hey, wrench, JD? Hey, this is red cord, man. Fly in the ointment, Hans. Crowd, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Contenders, are you ready? Yeah. Ready. 
Hit it. Y'all go around here for one. <laughs> one tool at a time. One tool at a time, boys. One tool at a time. Here it comes. Oh, they're going after it with the Phillips. Pretty close so far. Pretty close so far. Looks like Johnny Sidewall, Theodore, got the first piece off. Oh, it's evened up now. It's evened up now. Red Corner coming alive over here. Red Corner coming alive. Can Kyle Two Bolt tip it tied up right here? Stick around. We'll be right back. for the Widows and Orphans Fund, which is a fire department foundation, which helps out widows and orphans of, of lost firefighters, which is, is deep and true to my heart, which is awesome. I'm so glad I can help. You see that? It was the arthritis that kept me from, from getting those screws just right. I wasn't used to literally be screws and stuff like that using my man hands. I want to thank Auto Anything. You hear the hot rods? Auto Anything, thank you so much for helping us. Dogtown and uh, Emerald Ink and Stitch. Thanks for all the merchandise, all the stuff we have. I thank you, Ridgewood. Goodbye. Thanks. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> 